Welcome to LitCommerce Academy, your go-to resource for using the LitCommerce app. In this video, I'll show you how to add your product to Google Merchant Center with just easy steps so that you can start reaching millions of potential buyers. Let's get started. First, head over to Google Merchant Center. If you're not signed in already, simply log into your Google account and it will automatically connect you to the Merchant Center. Simply click on Start Now to begin the setup process. Next, you'll need to provide some basic information about your business, like your store name, website, and country. Once you've entered everything, just click Continue to the Merchant Center, and you'll be redirected to the Google Merchant Center dashboard. Now, on the left sidebar, navigate to the Products tab to get started adding your products. And here, you can see four available methods to add your products to Google Merchant Center, depending on your preferences and technical setup. Now, let's go over each of these methods so you can choose the one that best suits your needs. Let's start with method one, adding products from a file. This is a great option if you have a large inventory or if you want to easily manage your product data. To use this method, you'll need to create a file that contains all your product details like titles, descriptions, prices, images, and more. A great thing is that if you're already selling on platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, or BigCommerce, you can easily create this file using product feed management tool like LitCommerce. This tool will help you reduce manual effort and streamline your process, saving you time and minimizing errors. Let's start creating a new Google product feed by filling some information. First, you'll see that LitCommerce offers advanced categorization to help ensure your products are properly organized for Google Merchant Center. When you add products, categorization is crucial because Google has specific categories that your products must fit into. LitCommerce makes this easy by suggesting categories based on your product data, saving you time. Another important aspect of setting up your feed is product availability. In Google Merchant Center, you can only list availability as in stock, out of stock, pre-order, or back order. If your data from Shopify or other platforms includes different terms, LitCommerce helps by automatically converting those to the correct Google values with rule template. LitCommerce also has ready-made rules to simplify this process. These rules automatically adjust your feed to meet Google's specifications, reducing the need for manual setup. And if you want to customize further, you can easily add additional rules to fit your needs. One other key thing to keep in mind when adding your products is Google Merchant Center's specifications. Google has certain required fields that you must complete for your products to be accepted. These can be confusing, but LitCommerce makes it easy. Required fields are highlighted in red, these must be filled. Missing any of these can stop your feed from being accepted. Fields marked in yellow are recommended. They're optional, but filling them in helps improve the quality and visibility of your feed. And blue fields are optional, useful for providing extra product details, but not necessary for listing your products. LitCommerce will list all the fields for you, making sure nothing is missed. It also automatically maps some of the fields for you based on your product data. You can easily review and adjust the mappings. LitCommerce also provides a quality check feature to ensure your mappings are correct and there are no mistakes in your data. This helps catch any issues before your feed is ready to be published on Google Merchant Center. With LitCommerce, managing your product feed for Google Merchant Center is fast, efficient, and hassle-free. And this tool is incredibly easy to use, even if you're not tech-savvy. For a step-by-step -step guide on creating a product feed with LitCommerce, watch our video titled How to Create a Product Feed for Google Shopping. You'll find the link in the video description below. Once your feed file is ready, simply copy the feed URL and enter the link to Google Merchant Center. Next, you can choose how often the updates happen, such as every 24 hours, weekly, or monthly and the scheduled time. After that, Google Merchant Center will automatically update your products using that file. Also, add your authentication information, which helps secure your file updates. You can either add a username and password or choose to skip it and go with no credentials. Once done, click continue and your products are now added to Google Merchant Center. Now, let's move on to method two, using Google Sheets. This option is perfect if you prefer working with a spreadsheet or if you're just getting started and don't have a large inventory to manage. To get started, simply create a new Google Sheets document using a template provided by Google Merchant Center. 
These templates ensure that your product data meets all of Google's requirements. In the template, you'll enter your product details such as titles, descriptions, prices, and images. The template is structured to help you meet Google Merchant Center specifications for product listings. You can notice that the file has some examples for you. It's essential that all your product data meets the correct Google specifications, or else your products won't show up on Google. However, this can be a daunting task, especially if you're managing a large inventory. For a simpler and more accurate approach, I recommend using Method 1, using LitCommerce Product Feed Management Tool. If you already have a spreadsheet with your product data, you can simply choose an existing Google Sheets file and upload it directly to Google Merchant Center. Once your product data is in the Google Sheet, you can set up scheduling to automatically update your product listings like the Method 1. This method is ideal for smaller inventories or if you want to manually control and update your product data in a familiar spreadsheet format. Next up, let's talk about Method 3, adding products one by one. This is a great choice if you only need to upload a few products or prefer to manually manage each item. With this method, you'll simply fill out a form for each product. You'll need to enter the essential details like title, description, price, images, product categories for each product individually. You'll need to fill in the required fields and any additional information you want to include. Once you've entered the product details, click save or add another to add more products. You can easily go back and edit, delete, or add more products later as needed. However, I do not recommend this method because it can cost you tons of time and effort with plenty of issues if you are not familiar with Google Merchant Center specifications. Let's move on to the next method, adding products using the API. With the Content API for shopping, you can connect your application directly to Google Merchant Center. This allows for seamless, automated management of your product data without needing to upload files manually. However, this method requires technical knowledge, so it's ideal for developers or businesses that have dedicated technical resources. And that's it. You've learned the four ways to add products to Google Merchant Center. Your product will appear on Google Shopping listings. Remember, if you're looking for a simplified way to manage your Google Merchant Center feeds and automate the process, be sure to check out LitCommerce. It's designed to help you streamline product data, list and advertise on multiple shopping platforms, and keep everything in sync with just a few clicks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. We've got plenty more guides coming your way to help you grow your online business. Thanks for watching and happy selling!